I'm sure everyone's familiar with the ice bucket challenge that has just been rampant on Facebook and on Twitter. This is, as I assume you know, everybody's dumping ice cold chili willy buckets of water on their head, all in the name of supporting and donating to ALS, which most people actually don't know, stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I actually had to look down to read that because I couldn't remember either, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. So, Kevin McCullough of the American Family Association is urging his followers not to take the ALS challenge because doing so will kill unborn children. Um, this is uh, the Southern, this is from the Southern Poverty Law Center. Now, let me explain a little bit about the ALS Challenge because it has actually brought in $31.5 million this year. This is up from $1.9 million, obviously a significant increase. Um, but as McCullough pointed out, this money will be used to fund embryonic stem cell research, which means that children are created and at their earliest stages of life, they are destroyed so that the stem cells, which usually uh, from the base of the brain can be harvested to perform tests with. So according to the California Institute of Regenerative Medicine, all the human embryonic stem cell lines currently in use come from four to five day old embryos left over from in vitro fertilization. After a couple has completed their family, they must decide what to do with any remaining embryos. In some states, couples can also choose to donate the frozen embryos for research. These donated embryos are the source of human embryonic stem cell lines. Still, McConnell insisted that there should be no forced taking of any innocent person's life just so that uh, another may live longer. That is, in essence, philosophical cannibalism, and moral persons should have no part of it. Mm. So you're killing people by dumping ice on your head. That's okay. what he says. All right, so let's break this down a little bit. Um, first of all, gone, people. Uh, I'm so uh, devastated by what these people have done. I can't believe they've uh, done this philosophical cannibalism that we're watching here. Yeah. All right, uh, let's break it down. This idiot says that uh, uh, the uh, embryos are killed usually from the base of the brain. They are uh, four to five days into the process. They have no brain. There is no base of the brain, there is no brain, there's nothing four to five days in, okay? The skull has not formed, the spine has not formed, the brain has not formed, you're lying. It's totally made up to appeal to people's emotion. Second of all, most, the great majority of these uh, stem cells that are in these embryos are thrown away. The overwhelming majority, because a couple, for example, in, in order to do in vitro fertilization, will create many, many of those. They will only use a very limited amount, and the rest will either be donated to science so that we can cure things like Lou Gehrig's disease and save actual human beings, or they'll be thrown in the trash. Like, it's not like the pro-life groups go and adopt all those embryos and then put them in people and create millions of new kids. No, they throw them in the garbage, right? By the way, one of the people who invested in companies that either do that research or throw them in the garbage was Mitt Romney, okay? While he was running for president, he they're like, oh, do you know that you're in two companies that do this on a regular basis? He's like, well, yeah, well I'm gonna have to look into that, but I mean, how much money did I make, <laughs> right? So these people are, but aren't in it for the money. They're here to help these people yeah. with Lou Gehrig's disease. Now look, if you said you shouldn't do the ice bucket challenge because it's so over, then I'm with you, okay? Boy, is it played out, right? I mean, when George Bush is doing it, when Senator Lisa Murkowski from Alaska is doing it, we jumped the shark a long, <laughs> long time ago, okay? So all that is a Chris Christie's doing, it's over, it's over, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, I loved it, because as you know, Gina pointed out here, last year 1.9 million raised, this year 31 and a half yeah, million big, raised. Big deal. So they did a phenomenal job with it, and everybody should be happy, but these Right wingers, they can't be happy with anything. Right. Right? Like, oh, somebody had fun and raised money for a good cause and saved human lives? No, no, but what about the brain of the four year old embryo that was going to be thrown in the garbage and didn't exist in the first place? Yeah. Ah, cannibals. <laughs>